Jill here and Gary from Holston Valley Farm. How are you going everyone? Uh, I want to just show you what we've been trialing um, in terms of, how do you describe it? Um, distributing stuff so, so, yeah, um, on, the, on the land. Soil ameliorants. <laughs> yeah, additives, there you go. So Gaz, tell us what, what this is. Yeah, we should have actually really trialled it before we went live to air. <laughs> we're not, we're not live to air. We're not well, what I'm looking for is rock dust. Okay. And this is um, some basalt. Uh, and a basalt is um, full of uh, lots of different types of minerals. It got pretty much most of them. It, if you go through it, it's, it's volcanic and it's a certain part of the volcanic process and it cooled at a certain time or place or whatever yep. so there's something about it that's really good anyway this stuff is a bit wet um, what you want is the dust the finer it is so I don't know if this is really good um, but we get it out there and uh, it, it should provide a lot of minerals in a form that the plants can take up yeah and uh, then we ended up with with better plants uh, so it, it's pretty inert as far as it's not acidulated it won't burn the plants, um, so you can put it out any time, you don't really need to water it in. Uh, and um, it, you probably don't need to do it very often, you know, uh, like every 10 years or so. Wow. And if you get good, uh, <clears throat> healthy plants and you get this nutrient recycling, they'll keep bringing it up, bringing it to the surface, and then it gets eaten by plants and manure goes back in, so it, it just keeps recycling it. So. Once you get that healthy nutrient so carbon is the, is the key, but there's lots of other things, but you shouldn't have to do it very often, so it's quite a good cost. Tell us about this, this little machine, because we've had some success with this machine with uh, other coal dust, haven't we? Yeah, a small little spreader, a, a, a tiny little one that you could tow with the quad, which is mainly what we've got. We've really got it to be a cedar for seeds. Well, we're just using it for this at the moment. Um, so, so it's multi-purpose, little yeah, little thing. It. I mean, we, we've got the, the ute on today, but in a time where we can't use the ute, where the the land is is um, not tractable, not flat enough, where um, it's too wet, and you wouldn't want to put a tractor over it. So early in the spring, for example, uh, you don't want to get there and tear the place up. Um, so something lighter like a quad without the big tree ties, mm. you could you could put seed out or you could put this sort of thing out, and this only cost about a thousand dollars, so mm. it's um, it's a lot uh, cheaper. Some of those bigger spreaders are more expensive, but you know you can have a one-ton little spreader, but that's that's a lot of weight to carry. And you need on. a tractor. You need a tractor. Yeah, that's mm. right. You wouldn't be able, you wouldn't want to be doing that with mm. a quad and pull you over. So anyway, we'll see how it goes, and we'll we'll do a test area and um, and see if this thing works. Thanks for watching.